betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. The last race is the ninth race, which is at quarter to five, sixteen forty-five. Hollywood Bets, Bright Future, Merit Rated 78 Handicap, and they're going to be racing over 1,400 metres, and there are lots of scratchings. But we always urge you to please check your scratchings and jockey changes before you take your bets. Scratch is number two, Mallorca Palace. 10, Governor's Glory. 14, African Skyline. And 15, Brandenburg. And that brings number 13, Gimme a Rainbow, into the race. And Sean Veal gets the ride and he'll be ushered into gate two. Those are the changes that we have for you at this time of recording. And I think let's start with the reserve runner that's got in, because how often do we see a reserve runner get into the race and end up winning? And give me a rainbow, uh, Graham, I was just mentioning to you off air, took 12 starts to win his maiden, but, and then you think, well, he can't be too good. But since that maiden win, wow, he really has done well. He's had six runs for a win and... In total, six checks. He really is doing well, this horse, and he probably is the one they have to beat now. Interesting substitution. You'll see from my shortlist slide that one of my place accumulator bankers is number two, Mallorca Palace, who's now been scratched. Replaced by his stable companions, Sir Carl Hewitson and Sean Veal, will still team up together in the race from gate number two with number 13, Give Me a Rainbow, as you mentioned. And quite frankly, I'm happy to offer him as a place accumulator banker instead of Mallorca Palace. So I think Gimme a Rainbow's got all the right credentials. He cracks a good draw. Sean Veal has ridden him three times recently for two seconds and a win. He knows the horse well because he has his quirks. He tends to hang out quite badly, number 13, Gimme a Rainbow. So it'll be to his advantage that he's drawn in gate two. It'll be to his advantage that Sean has really got to know him really well. He's got good form coming into the race. For me, he's the one to beat. And although my original place accumulator banker is scratched, number two, Mallorca Palace, I'm happy to go with number 13, Give Me a Rainbow, as a viable substitution. Yeah. Interesting runner, though. Two interesting runners. Uh, 11, Conquer the Enemy. First runner's a gelding. You know, he never won, he never ran in a maiden. He ran against winners throughout his career. Eventually got it right at the fourth time of asking, beating Uncomplicated. Needed the gelding, so he makes his debut as a gelding. They think a lot of number 11, Conquer the Enemy, so watch out for him. And, of course, uh, it's interesting that... Alistair Cohen will have arrived in Dubai, will have landed in Dubai when his own horse, uh, number five, Banner Bridge, a raider from the Highfeld train by Candace Dawson, who's <coughs> one from one on the poly track, uh, will be running. So Alistair will be shouting him home from the comfort of wherever he's staying in Dubai. Let's hope his parents are here. Yeah, maybe his parents will be here. But I think it might be a little bit on the sharp side for Banner Bridge. I would have preferred 1,600 metres and further. Maximus, the same comment. I would have preferred further than this 1,400 metres. So, albeit that my original selection, Mallorca Palace, is out, I'm firmly in the camp of number 13, Give Me a Rainbow, but healthy respect for number 11, Conquer the Enemy. 12 is two of us. We must give uh, him a mention. When we did uh, a podcast with the Barden horse kennedy combination, uh, they were doing their scratchings, and this horse, two of us, was due to run at that abandoned meeting, and they thought he had a very big chance. He is drawn wide but uh, has the form to be concerned in the finish here. A very, very interesting race to bring proceedings to a close at Hollywood Bets Gravel. Graham and I are on the camp of Gimme a Rainbow. Let's see if the reserve runner that's now got a run can keep up the trend or uh, keep up the good statistics of reserve runners getting in and winning. We're in the camp of Gimme a Rainbow. fun days like these are, are great you get the whole industry together um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone